Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, judges. Thank you, Bevnet, for having me again. My name is Justine Monsell, and I'm the founder and CEO of Monfifo. Monfifo is an all-organic and cold-pressed beverage company that has a passion for health and creativity. We are located in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, New York. Monfifo stands for the ginger monster that goes fee fi fo fum and we're monsters because we rip through the social norm of what a beverage can be. We manufacture only one flagship product in one SKU, the ginger shot. The ginger shot consists of only three simple yet powerful ingredients. Spicy organic cold pressed ginger juice, organic lemon juice, and organic honey. That's it. Our product is spicy, and yet people love it because there's nothing like it. We also don't add water. We let you add water and dilute the drink to your tasting. On our tray, we display the five ways to drink a ginger shot. This creates a uni universal beverage for all. I know some people that only drink the shot as a tea every night after their meal, or others that make it a morning ritual with their water again. Make your water exciting. For our online home orders, we like to give customers recipe cards so they can experiment at home with the many ways to drink a ginger shot. We also like to involve the art community in our shake art program where we invite artists to illustrate fun ways to shake. This helps remind customers to shake up all that good stuff. So how did we get here? My whole life I was surrounded by natural remedies thanks to my mother. In my teenage years, I was constantly educating myself on the natural wonders this earth has to offer us. I later spent a formal education at Johnson & Wales for culinary and then studied psychology at Fordham. It was there that I realized that Western medicine has advanced us in many ways, but it is also important for us to get to the root of the problem. I then traveled to China and Hawaii, woofing on organic farms and envisioning a better world from simply the foods we consumed. That year, Monfifo was born in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, New York. My first account was from the local deli where I would always go for snacks. Babu, who knew us well, took in the drink. Two days later, he called me saying that he sold out and needed more. Next thing you know, I was walking around Williamsburg telling them that the deli next door was selling four cases a week and that they should carry Monfifo. Through that guerrilla marketing, we have grown the company to being now in over 250 accounts in the New York City tri-state area. By growing the company organically with the help of my life partner, Justin, we are able to learn all aspects of the business. This has given us a great foundation of knowledge and expertise in all areas. Now, that is not to say we haven't had a few bumps along the road. We've had challenges of growth, expanding production while maintaining our weekly purchase orders, educating the buyer and the consumer on how to drink our little shot, dealing with cold logistics for delivery nationwide, and finally, finding the right team who shares our passion for health and respect for the earth. We also have many advantages. Our product can pretty much sell anywhere. We also get to focus all our love and attention on just one product. We HPP for a valuable three-month shelf life, and also smaller packaging is better for the world. We can fit over 6,000 bottles on a single pallet. We have a smaller carbon footprint than just your average drink. It's also easy to get lost in the supermarket when you're a single SKU product. That's why our 12-pack display tray helps us make a real dent in the supermarket. We're category innovators because we're the first on the wholesale market to sell a refrigerated organic ginger lemon honey shot and market the five ways to drink. Why thinking small is thinking big. The future of shots. Energy shots have already popularized the iconic shot. Plus, a refrigerated shot only means fresher to the consumer. Ginger again. Monfifo is helping shift the ginger paradigm from the sometimes questionable realms of ginger ale and the stuff that comes with sushi. We're redefining what ginger juice should taste like in the supermarket by not adding anything artificial to our drink. We went straight to the source and cold press the juice straight from the rhizome. Our pricing is at $3.99 to $4.99. The future of Monfifo. We're able to live in a neighborhood where we, get, where we sell our product and get real feedback and see the growth, which is a beautiful thing. We are now in the process of making this drink a nationwide operation. It's been a joy to share our love of ginger with everyone. Ooh. And that's our little thing. Lift off. Cheers. Did you get the doing? Thank you. Yeah, Cheers. Give it a shot, you guys. If you want to pick up the mic, uh, the oh, judges might have some questions yeah. for you. All right. So Monfifo, great presentation. Um, 
You know, the, the big question in shots is, uh, you know, where do you, where do you merchandise them? Where do you put them on shelf? Kara, you've had some experience there. So, you know, does Montefiore have a good strategy of approaching uh, merchandising? Um, I, th I think having the tray is, is great. Um, you know, it, it's still tricky, though. It's, it's, uh, it's not an easy, as anyone in the beverage industry knows, the, the, the drink cooler is the Wild West. Yes. And if you're small, you're at the risk of getting, uh, you know, um, the sharper end of the elbow, I guess. Um, so, so that's that's an issue. Um, you know, I'd love to see this, and even you know, despite the the retail implications in a small and I'm sorry, a larger format, a multi serve. Um, uh, but I and I'm a ginger fan, but I know ginger can be polarizing as well. I I think the flavor is fantastic. Um, I would consume this myself every day. Um, I, but again, I, ginger is a, is a polarizing flavor, so the, the, the breadth of the potential is, would be a, a question mark for me. Okay. Yeah, Scott, uh, Justine outlined her challenges and advantages as a, as a company. How important is that for an entrepreneur to understand that and sort of share that kind of understanding with the retailers and their distributors and their su uh, supplier partners? Yeah, I mean, first, um, you know, I'm just so impressed with the thought leadership that went into this. It's just not an idea of a good tasting beverage, but the benefits of ginger, the thoughtfulness that went into it, great backstory, very, very interesting. Um, love the packaging, love the taste. Pricing seems up there, but I, I don't know, maybe the, the cogs generate that. But um, the real challenge is really how do you tell the story at retail and get consumers to take it off the shelf in a really, really crowded space. Yeah. Mark, what do you think of this taste and you know the various uh, use occasions or ways you can use it and, and how uh, Justine outlined that. Yeah, I, I too am a ginger fan, so I applaud you for that. And, and um, it's, um, <clears throat> I, I like it, you know, and I, I would drink it straight, I think within, within reason. <laughs> I'd probably suffer for it a little bit later. Be a little rush to the head right now, but I'm enjoying that. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but I do think, um, I think it's a real challenge on how do you execute that. I do think a larger size is interesting for kind of at-home use, but the polarization to me is okay. And I think, you know, it's, it's a great way to build a lot of brands. It's, it's you know, if you, you piss a few people off, uh, it, that sort of helps in some way. So I'd say if you find that audience that loves it or wants the benefits or believe it, work that. Don't worry about anybody else. Go after the passionate consumers and you know, you, then you'll know if there's enough of them, maybe you build a little bit of a business. And you, know, you gotta solve the retail stuff and figure all that out, but focus on you know, a narrow group of consumers. I think, I think you could build something. Yeah, you know, uh, Scott touched on the sort of story, the backstory behind it. It's kind of hard uh, to get a lot of, uh, bet your backstory on a small bottle, there's not a lot of real estate. Bill, I mean, there, it, do you think they sort of succeeded in that way or do you think they need to do more, tweak that kind of message? I, th I think given the slim billboard, they've done a nice shot with the branding. It's real clear what it is. I agree it's going to be tough merchandising this product at retail and having consumers find it. It's a straight up narrow and deep proposition. I mean, I love aromatic bitters and this would be a great addition to my dark and stormy. But <laughs> consumers who are going to buy this product are going to buy it and knock it down. That's your audience, 100%. Whether or not there's enough of those people willing to commit at this level in today's market, we'll find out but it's an exceedingly well-crafted product. Thank you. Nicely done. John, overall thoughts, you saw this yesterday and now you're seeing it again today. Uh, you know, what do you think of the product, the brand proposition? I mean, I, I guess the only other thing I would just sort of say that they haven't, I mean, I feel like if the company is all about ginger, you know, you could easily translate this in a Mon Fifo ginger drink too, you know? I mean, there's plenty of, you know, different ways to take it, so. I think this is something that, you know, we talked about this yesterday. I mean, it, it is one thing and kind of does it well. And, you know, that is oftentimes a good way to start out. It's certainly something that is memorable. Um, and it's, you know, everything. I mean, the presentation looked great. The graphics um, story makes sense. You know, so really like it. Outstanding. Yes. All right. Out of time. Thanks so much, Justine. Thank great presentation.